here is a shark jaw. All right. So when one tooth falls out, another tooth it. just comes right in. Okay. So sharks are, I think they're really lucky. They never have to worry about going to the dentist or getting a cavity or a root canal or anything like that. Ava. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about that. Question, my love. I have a statement, actually. A statement. Go for it. Sharks actually have a built-in fluoride in their mouth, and that's why their teeth are so white. Exactly. Very good. You're so smart. So now, be careful when you touch those teeth because they are very sharp. All right, so I'm going to bring out what kind of fish, uh, what kind of shark is this right here? Yeah. A fish, which is kind of a funny looking guy that has a nose like a saw. Sand tiger shark. Sand tigers, like we saw. Red the hammerhead. Bamboo. Then, what's this? A manta ray or a stingray. Are they related to sharks? No. Yes. 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 They are. They That's are the have same it. family. The fish actually clean the sharks. Yeah, the fish will. Yeah, they have cleaning stations. Hammerhead, that is true. A great white, that is true. But nurse sharks and the sharks that we touched at the aquarium, the bamboo sharks, they have special muscles in their gills. Uh, we don't know for sure, but it's between 60 and 100-ish feet, yeah. Yes. It's fossilized. It's fossilized. So when sharks lose their teeth and they fall in the tooth and they turn it black and then it becomes fossilized. So this is the very top of the food chain. They eat everything and nothing really eats them. All right. So if we take sharks out of the ocean or we kill sharks, it won't eat you, but it'll only just like taste test to see if you're a fish or not. And if you, and as soon as it bites you, it just swims away because it doesn't like it. I learned that the spine is made out of cartilage, and a fact I know is sharks can have to up to thirty thousand teeth. The food chain doesn't get out of balance, and the, room, and the fish won't populate and take over the oceans. They go after fish that are sick and injured, and they actually keep the whole marine food web in balance. So if we lose our sharks to things like shark finning or bycatch, we lose our healthy ocean. Actually, 70 to 80 percent of the oxygen that we breathe comes from algae in the ocean. So if we don't have sharks maintaining that healthy balance of that healthy marine food web in the ocean, we wouldn't have half the oxygen that we need to breathe.